are the rules with years? So we've got, we said um, before 2000, we're going to say, oh gosh, that's 2000, you guys. We're going to just say 1945. So you're going to say 19. Let's just fix it so that you guys know what the heck I'm writing here. <laughs> so before 2000, you're going to say, um, use, um, let's say two and two. You guys know what that means. So you've got 19, here's one, two, and then 45. So there's a little quickie rule for you there. Okay. Two and two. That's that. All right. The rule here is between 2000 and 2010, we're going to say 2000 and then the final two numbers. So we're going to say, you know, um, 2009 will be 2009, okay? Um, 2012. So this rule kind of, I'm saying between here and here, and you really can go up to maybe 2017, 2020, 2021. 2019. Okay, let's change this. I'm going to say this goes up to 2019. Okay, so people can say, uh, see, you can. So you can say 2019, or you can say 2019. Okay, so this I'm not I'm not loving my rules here, because it's, <laughs> it's not going so well. But okay, so you can also say, um, 2011 for things 2010 and above. Okay, 2011 or 2000, let's see, say 20, so over 2010, um, or you can say 2010 or 2011. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay. So you, you kind of have a choice here, how you say that. You have a choice there, okay? And then once you get the final, kind of the final thing is 2020 and above, 2020 and above, so 2021, 2022, you're really gonna just say 20 and then the second. So 2030, 2040, 2045, okay, 2045, you can say that, it's totally fine. I would just think, you know, most people are gonna say 2021, okay, when we're talking about the year that we're in right now. Let's go back here and look a little bit more at numbers, okay? So when we start using larger numbers, you guys, things can get a little crazy. But here's the trick. There is a trick, okay? You always want to say, so here, you know, in, in our country, in, in English, we use, um, and, and it's not in every country, but in American English, or in, in the United States, okay? North America, we use commas. The comma comes after every three digits, okay? Except in hundreds, we don't use a comma at the end of that, okay? Um, so for large numbers, every time you see the comma, you're going to name it. So let's start here. So we're gonna start with thousands. It's one comma thousand. So you're gonna say 1,000, 100,000, right? Because there's you're, you're saying the word, you're saying 100, and then because that's there, you're going to say the name of it, 100,000, okay? Here you've got 1 million, so you're going to say it right there. So the example would be like, you're going to say 45 million, okay? 123 million, okay? Um, 62 million, okay? 60, so you're going to say the first part and then million. And because there's nothing in here, you don't need to say anything there. However, if there is something in here, you're going to say 62,543,753. Okay. That's where it starts getting a little nutty. And to be honest, everyone needs to practice this. Even if you're a native speaker, we always need to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 62 million. 543,753. So you can notice here what I said here, 753, 753, okay?